welcome to this update video for the channel. Uh, it's just a new type of video here. Um, it's where you're going to see a, a sneak peek of uh, new projects and units on the way. Uh, and it'll give you an idea of uh, how each army is coming along, what additions I'm uh, doing, and then any new projects as well. I've made a big order here to GamingFigures.com. Uh, that's where I get my uh, Games Workshop stuff uh, from. They do 15% off. And then uh, an extra 5% off if the order comes to over £100. And then free postage in the UK as well. But what I'm going to do on this video is just to run through uh, this order here. And you'll soon get an idea uh, of what new projects and uh, miniatures are on the way. So I've got my box here. I've tipped it on its side. First unit I've got, or vehicle, is one of these. Uh, this is to help finish off my old force. So it's not a uh, battle wagon. Uh, I think I've included it in the force just for the size of it. Um, with the orcs, I want to build an army that's quite big and impressive uh, and intimidating looking. I think the battle wagon is an important choice for that. And I, the way the configuration, I think, and this is the kind of colour scheme I'm going for, a bit of red in there as well, just to match in with the rest of the orcs that I have. Uh, and then uh, the kill cannon I think I'm going to put on top and then a few missile launchers on there as well and that's going to, uh, one of my main units is going to go inside there it's pretty good armour protection at 14 on the front um, and I think the old battle wagon along with the Gorkonaut uh, will be a nice, uh, it's a nice heavy gear for the orcs that's the kind of army I'm working towards so that's the new addition for the orcs there, look forward to uh, putting that one together um, and uh, using it in games, but that's a, I think that's a good way of protecting uh, a decent unit. So, battle wagon, and then it's another uh, one here for the orcs. It's one of these orc bomber. Um, there's a number of configurations that you can do. I, I think I'm going to go for this one. I was going to go for the DACA jet, the one where you get lots and lots of shots. This one here. Um, but one of the subscribers said, well, it's, it can be good fun uh, doing the bomb with the bombing run. And those bombs are pretty good. They're actually quite devastating as well. So I think that's the configuration I'm going to go for um, in the army. Very, I look, really look forward to painting this. a beautiful model, this one. Um, and it's just going to provide a little bit of air support. Um, and I, half of the way I'm going to use this, though, will be... Uh, for taking out ground targets as well. That strength 7 AP2 bomb, um, armor bane on top of that as well, large blast. Uh, I think there's potential in that uh, to do a nice little damage. Uh, so in the comments section, um, if you collect orcs, then what configuration do you go for? There's three of them that you can use. You've got the, uh, the orc bomber here, uh, the DACA jet, and also you've got the bur burner bomber as well. They both, they're both, all three of them look really nice. Uh, it has been very, very difficult trying to choose uh, which one to go for. I think my heart is set on this one, um, but uh, maybe if you have used the DACA jet, how effective has it been? And you get a lot of strength six shots, uh, but is it good enough um, with the configuration that it has? You know, for taking out other flyers, I'm not sure. But uh, those two big uh, units for the Orcs there, uh, look forward. Uh, to putting them together. And really the Orc Force, it's about three quarters done. Um, so uh, looking forward to getting them uh, finished off and then getting on with other projects as well. But Orcs, I think it's been one of the most enjoyable armies. Um, using it in a game, very enjoyable indeed. And then actually painting and putting it together. I really have enjoyed it as well. So Orcs, I would highly recommend Orcs as an army. Next up here, and it, it is a real jumble of stuff because I've got a number of armies uh, that I'm you know, doing improvements for, upgrading. So Eldar uh, Windriders here, that's the new jet bikes. If there was one unit that Games Workshop needed to re-release, it was the jet bikes. Um, and uh, they've done a very nice job here and they just had, I know I've got jet bikes already, the older ones. Um, but these ones look very, very nice indeed. And now with the options you can swap out uh, the weapons. Uh, give them some heavier weapons uh, that makes these uh, a good choice to have. So set of three there. 
Yeah, no, they're a beautiful job. They're very, very nice indeed. So it's it's good that Games Workshop have redone them. Um, so I think I'm going to have one unit of three. This is a little unit to capture objectives on the table. Um, and then sort of restructuring my old R at the moment. Uh, pretty much what I you know already have, but just some new combinations and trying to bring in some new units. Uh, there's a bit of pressure on because it's the it is the top performing army on the channel. Uh, so I'm going to try and put an army together that still performs very well indeed. But the new wind riders, I've got to get on and paint these soon to include them in the new army. Then we'll bring out here purity seal. I'm showing you everything here. Two cans. It's the best varnish there is, in my opinion. I've had uh, years of using different varnishes, some bad experiences, uh, but purity seal uh, seems to be the best that there is. And then brushes. A lot of people ask what brushes do you use. I actually use the sizzle brushes. Um, I've never had any complaints with them. Uh, they usually ask me about two years. I get out of them if you look after them. Uh, and uh, I can't see any problem with them at all. Whenever I go into a shop, I uh, obviously don't have, the, don't have the choice here of making the order online, but I always look at the nib and uh, check that it's all right, nice and sharp. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice brush, that one. So we've got here detail, wash, and standard brushes. Desperate, I'm in desperate need of new brushes. My, my other brushes have... Uh, they are falling apart, so they should last a nice long time. A couple of paints as well. Agrax Earthshade, Seraphim Sepia, and then another Agrax Earthshade. You see, if you see the painting tutorials, you know that I use a lot of washes. Uh, they do a lot of work for you, uh, filling in the details. Uh, the washes that Games Workshop have done, I think, are a brilliant idea. There's another wash here, another Seraphim Sepia. Then uh, Army Painter, uh, Plate Mail, that's the base colour that I use for my Necrons. Um, so it gives you a hint as to what I'm doing next, some new Necron units on the way. So yeah, I've gone for Tomb Blades, and I'm I think I'm going to go for a unit of six. I've always loved the models. When these came out, uh, they looked really nice. Didn't rate them very much, but I think in the new codex, um, there's some points that I can free up now. Uh, scarabs aren't quite as good as they were. I may drop a unit of scarabs and just have a unit of one. Uh, that frees up some points and also a slot in the fast attack. Um, so I think I can fill that slot with tomb blades. Um, and then also I'm going to save some points to my HQ. I'm not particularly impressed with uh, the Catacomb Command Barge. I may just put the uh, Overlord on foot. That will save some points as well. Uh, two blades aren't too expensive in points. Um, and then the upgrades for them, don't usually go for upgrades, but the upgrades for team blades are very, very cheap indeed. Uh, just to enhance and make them better. Weapon loadout for these. I think I'm going to go for the uh, particle weapon here. It's a blast weapon, strength 6, AP 5 I believe um, and you can give them an upgrade where it ignores cover um, and I think uh, that will be an excellent addition. Even if you're fighting against something like you're shooting against something like Terminators or Space Marines, if you hit them with tons and tons of shots um, you're going to force them to make loads and loads of saves um, you can bring units down uh, in that way as well and I think six of them chucking out all those shots I think will be very effective Indeed. So they're a harassing unit. The unit's just going to give some fire support. They're going to be hard to kill. We're going to keep them at a distance and then use them to snatch objectives and so on um, towards the end of the game. But yeah, one one big unit of six Tomb Blades. Um, and really looking forward to getting these done. It will fill out the Necron Force even more because um, I'm basically swapping, downgrading the Academy Command Barge but keeping the guy and then um, dropping three bases of Scarabs and then replacing it with six of them so it will make this Necron force even bigger uh, so even more machines uh, to add to the army. Pretty much happy with the rest of the force um, for Necrons. Uh, it's kind of a habit that I've got. I try not to uh, when a new codex comes out, new releases come out, I try not to panic and 
buy loads of new units and change the army around, but just tweak it and then it gives me, like when a new codex comes out, new models, it gives me a chance, an opportunity to add you know, one or two new additions um, and still create a, a different force, um, but not completely change the army, you know, because if you're running different armies, you don't want to be stuck revamping them too much. But yeah, Necron Tomb is very excited about them, love the models, and I think they'll be pretty effective in game. Just need to get on and paint these as soon as possible. Right, next up, uh, you saw on the channel that I did a review for uh, Skitari, and I have decided that I'm, <laughs> I'm going to build a Skitari army. Um, we have a very strong theme behind it. Uh, I'm going to base it on uh, Roman Legion, and sort of an historical kind of basis to it. Um, the whole structure and how it fights uh, is going to be based on a Roman Legion. I've got a couple of units to start me off. It's going to be a learning curve, you know, it's a new faction to paint. Um, but I'm pretty much going to use the same process I use for other models, you know, that three stages. Uh, base colours, washes, and final highlights. So I've got here a Onagar Dune Crawler. Um, so these, I do like the models. So Onagar is like the Roman catapults that would be at the back of the army, or they'd be used in a siege and they would provide some long range firepower. And that's what I want to do for these. Keep them at the back of the army. And the configuration that I'm going to go for, I think, will be this one. It's going to be my anti aircraft defence. Um, and this, this configuration here is bristling with anti aircraft uh, weaponry. Uh, I think I'm going to go, I've got one here just to experiment with and paint. I think I'm going to go for a unit of three. And just have them sit at the back, cluster together, they'll get a, an invul save if they will stick together, um, and then use them to take out any airborne targets, skimmers and things as well, uh, they can take on. So, in your comments section, if you've had any experience with Skitari, uh, you're collecting them perhaps at the moment, or you've you've used them in games. What configuration do you use, and how effect how effective is the anti-aircraft uh, capability of these? I think it would be very good, uh, but you'll only know that when you start using them in actual games. So one of those, and then on top of that, I've got two boxes of uh, Sicarians, and then. So the way the Roman army operates, you have your, the bulk of the army, the infantry in the centre, and then that will be flanked by cavalry. And those cavalry usually be sort of weak units. Uh, you wouldn't expect them to do you know, too much, but they would have some kind of flanking force on each side. This is the role that these are going to have. Fast moving, and they'll be like the cavalry of the army. Stick, stick them on either side, with the main army in the middle, and then stick these on either side to roll up the flanks. Um, I love the look of uh, this configuration here. Um, so I think I'm going to have a unit of them, and then I'm going to have a unit of these here, Rust Stalkers, uh, and then just uh, load them out. I rate them from, from the rules, they do look pretty good, uh, but again, I'm not going to know until I start using them in games. Skitaria Call, I'd, I'd like to have them as uh, allies as well, so that they can help out the Imperial Fists, for example. Uh, they can take some Skitari allies, I think that would... Uh, is perfectly, uh, would, would look really good, uh, would be a nice theme to a game to take some Sakari uh, to help out. And I think I will use them as allies just whilst to get this army built up and put together. But exciting stuff, do like the Skitari, really do like them uh, as an army. Last one here, I have gone for the Plastic Librarian uh, Terminator. Uh, one of the nicest models that's that's come out, extremely uh, nice model that Games Workshop have done. I'm going to try and get him into the uh, Blood Angels force. Uh, I think I may well try and put him down. Uh, if he's a Psyche, you see, um, it's good to have him using Psyche power straight away. Um, so I don't think I'm going to put him in any of the flyers. I think I'm going to try and get him to come down the drop pod. Um, so that means I'm going to need to drop some, a few of the uh, stern guard. Uh, if I drop two, because he's going to take up two slots, he's bulky. So I drop two, 
that's going to generate some points. It's going to partly pay for him in the points as well, and I'm just going to tinker with the force a little bit and try and get him uh, into the army. But I think dropping him down in the drop pod, and then the moment he lands, he can start using these psychic powers, um, and as well as the firepower from uh, the stone guard as well. That would be a good uh, unit combination to do. Nice, very very nice model. That nice pose uh, and nice build. On them. Glad Games Workshop going down the route of producing these smaller plastic uh, boxes here. Not a big fan uh, of the fine cast at all. Preferred the old lead figures a lot more. I'd even hunt for lead figures like on eBay, for example, uh, um, as opposed to trying to get the fine cast stuff. Really don't like it. Uh, but there he is, Blood Angels Librarian. I'm going to try and get him into the new Blood Angels army. Just one figure to paint. As I said, it's it's nice just adding a, a, an addition here and there, not having to completely revamp an army, but just uh, just adding a couple of units and then you can really change up the force, make it, you know, give it a fresh look without having to redo the whole thing. Right, so that's the update for the channel. Uh, that just gives you an idea of what's to come. Obviously I've got a lot of painting to do here, uh, but I look forward to doing all of these. And it's, it's nice just having a spread of different things. I can move from one project to another and each one's going to be a fresh uh, project to do. Uh, so orcs I'm working on at the moment, I'd love to get the army finished off and done um, and then that sort of justifies me you know, being able to move on to a new army, the Skatari uh, I can get on doing them and then a couple of additions for the, uh, the armies that I currently have so for some Necrons here, Blood Angels and then uh, the Eldar uh, jet bikes as well but that's the, the update for the channel of what's to come uh, leave your comments here of what you think of these different models, what you think of them, how, you know, how well they perform in games. Have I made the right decision in getting these? Uh, leave your comments um, and then uh, the other uh, additions to the armies as well. But uh, I've got these from GamingFigures.com as I mentioned. Uh, it just means that you can get your Warhammer 40,000 stuff at a good discount. Uh, they do 15% off, uh, an extra 5% uh, for orders over 100. This was over 100, so I've got. Uh, you know, you get the extra discount there, uh, and then free delivery uh, for those of you in the UK as well. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time.